Hi, welcome to this new part. In this part, we will learn about the take operator. So we will learn what is take operator and then we will create some demo in which we will use mix syntax and the method syntax. So first, let's understand what is take operator. Take operator is used to get first n number of records from a data source. Suppose you have a data source. The data source may be any list, it may be any data table, it may be any collection, it may be anything. And from that data source, you have to fetch first five records or first six records. So the number of the records may be anything that can depend on your requirement. So take operator is used to select first n number of records from a data source. And n is basically an integer which we have to pass in the take operator. The second point is take method can be used in method syntax and mix syntax. To perform the operation using the query syntax, you have to use the mix syntax or you can use directly take operator in the method syntax. The last is take method will not make any change in the element position. So suppose I have a data source and I am selecting only first five records then the take method will not make changes in the positions. If you need to make some changes in the positions then you have to use other operators like the order by or order by descending those operators. But if you are not using any other methods then take will simply fetch first n number of records. Let's see how it works and let's create a demo in the Visual Studio. So here I am in my Visual Studio. This is a very basic console application. First, let's create some data source. So suppose this is my data source. This data source has 10 records and from these 10 records, I need to fetch first 5 records. Take method is very much easy to use. Let's see how can we use it. Where method syntax and then data source dot take and first let's have a look on the take method if i press f12 on this method then it will redirect into the definition of the take method returns a specified number of contiguous elements from the start of sequence so from the start of the sequence it will return n number of records it has only one method and in that method we have to pass the count so basically this is the number of records which you want as an output suppose I need five elements okay and you can see the output type of the take method is it is i enumerable of t to convert it into the array you can use to array or if you need to convert it into a list then you can use to list method at the last um, I'll be using console load read line method so that we can debug our program let's put a breakpoint here and let me press f5 now you can see in the ms we have five records one two three four five and what is the type of ms ms is basically an array of integers because we are using two array at the last if you need to convert it to a list then you can use two list method so it will fetch only those records which will be passed here in the take method. If you will pass two records, then it will return only two records. If you will pass 10 records, then it will return 10 records. Let's see how to use it in the mix sentence. So where suppose mix sentence and from n in numbers select n and at the last we have to use take method how like this and in that take method we have to pass the count so suppose i'm passing now four and at the last to execute this query here i'll be using tool list method now so that we will get a list as a output now from the data source is a array of integers but as a output we will get a list of integers so you can see clearly here it is a list of integers and here it is a array of integers so let me press f5 now so you can see as a output we have only four records one two three four so you can see clearly that it is not changing the position it is written first n number of records right from the beginning so first it is one two three four that's it that's all the point is suppose you need to make some filters okay uh, suppose i need to fetch first five records but the records should be greater than three okay so I have to write some conditions and how can I filter my data to filter my data I have to use some other operators what operator I'm going to use here 
where so where x is greater than 3 so i need to fetch five records where the number should be greater than 3 right now we were getting records from the 1 but now we will get records from the 4 because first we are having our data source then we are applying the where condition so here we have our filter data and on that filter data we are getting 5 records so basically it will get only 5 records from the filter data and then all those reports will be converted to a array using the two array methods if you need to do the same thing here then you can write your condition here as well where n is greater than 3 okay so here we are selecting 5 records and here in the mix sentence we are selecting only 4 records now let me press f5 you can see in the ms we have four, we have 5 records but the records are starting from the 4 4 5 6 7 8 you can see all the records are greater than 3 greater than 3 we have all the records in the sequence which are available in the original data source 4 5 6 7 8 all the records are here if we have a look on the mix syntax then we have four records and all four records are greater than 3 so that's how it works you can write any type of condition here you can select object you can select a string you can select integers but at the last if you are using take method then it will return only those number of records which you will pass as a parameter in the take method okay let's see one more thing let's try can i use where method after the take method okay let's see what will happen if i apply that where method after the take method and i have a breakpoint over here and now let me press f5 let's see how many records are there in the mix sentence we have only two records can you tell me why two records we have passed five in the take method but as a output we are getting only two records why let's break it down into some small parts so first we have numbers and from those numbers we took only five records so so, so the output of this line will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, because at this place we don't have any condition here. So the output of this line will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then from those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we are selecting those numbers which are greater than 3. So what is greater than 3? 4 and 5. And then those 4 and 5 will be converted to an array using the two array method. So that's how it works. The positioning of using the take method is very important if you will use it before the filtering of the data then definitely you will you will see some difference in the data so it is recommended always that you should use the take method at the last so in the beginning you have to make your query you have to filter your data you have to apply all the things which you need to apply and at the last when your query is completed at the last you can use take method you can see that here we are not getting any compile time error but it is how you write your query if you will write your query in such a way then you will think that your query is working but it is not giving the output as expected that's all in this part i hope take method will be clear to you now thank you for watching have a great day